I'll bend up the knee. Okay, so the idea here is, okay, so we did a lot of work yesterday, okay, with the head and the neck in, 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 in a way. And what I'd like to do is I want you to see, you see, I want you to be able to, if you're going to want to be able to do things, you want to be able to feel what it's like to be able to get involved in sensing a larger organization. Okay, so certainly if I'm just going to think of her head, I could do movements with the head. I could do things we did yesterday, right? This way and this way or this way and this way, right? Same holding, you see? That's it. Now, if I want to think how am I going to engage her back, where would I want to go? Is it going to come this way? Look, she does it herself. Look, I, Now, if I know that this is a movement, right, that she'll organize to do, then I can feel, look, I don't feel heavy. It feels like I'm doing it for you, right? Mm. But I feel she does it. So now I know I'm thinking of organization. Now, do I have to have every fine detail? No. But what I want you to do is I want you to try to see that you can feel, look, now if I direct her more where she would go, then I know I'm dealing with an organization. I try to push her where she doesn't, she's not going to go there. But she can feel, look, this way, and we can come back, and she follows me. Now, if I'm going to come here, how is she going to do it? Look, I don't know. She can't get onto this one. Look. Uh, oh, yes, she can. Look. And look, the whole thing starts to move, which is what's interesting is, and why I showed you the picture of the child now, was to show you that the whole child's in motion. Okay? Now, we many times focus on small details, but look, when I do with her, uh, where is she gonna? Is she gonna come? Is it gonna go to the elbow? Is this is she gonna come to the hand? She could, but if she's gonna come on the elbow, look, she can do it herself. Do I feel like I'm pushing you hard? No, not at all. But somehow she feels this together, and look where she goes to. And this is a big movement already. You see, and then we can come down, and look, the left hand, look what it does, pushes. It pushes. Now it's really pushing. Mm. Yeah. It's not lifting something, but it intentionally, because of the organization, pushes. Now, I think that's enough detail. So, and then look, and I can go back here. Look. What does she do here? Look. She pushes. Now, this becomes important because afterwards we're going to do sort of a classical use of the arm for pushing in a lot of detail. But I want you to feel that you can actually sense this, you see? And we could come here and come here, look. And if I'd want to, we could take her and come forward, look. She's already ready. Now remember I talked about the pulling? Now she has already has a pushing, she has a pulling, and she doesn't feel like pulling her heart at all in the head. And where I'm holding is the same place that I showed you yesterday afternoon in the sitting to standing. You see? Now for her, it feels quite nice. Look, come here and here, look. Now you'd be surprised what we have to do here is right. You gotta go backwards a little bit. Yep. <laughs> and then look here. Yeah. yeah, look. You can take her almost anywhere. It feels like such a light organized thing. Then if you'd come down and you come down here, you'll find that this will probably be quite a bit softer for you. Do you feel that? Mm-hmm. And then if I would go back to what we did yesterday, I also would probably find that it's probably, look, oh, now I have a function, look at this, now, <laughs> it feels like it's, you know where to go. Yeah. Now, is it perfect in her back? Could I make her back softer? Could we differentiate the spine more? Could we do all sorts of different things? Of course, and we know different <coughs> ways to do those types of things. But right now it's interesting that you can create and sense a larger organization. Okay, and that's what's very, it's very important to start to feel larger masses in motion, not in a relaxed state, but in an organized state. It can be in a relaxed organized state, but in an organized state. And that, that was what I wanted to try to show yesterday in the sitting to standing, that you have to start to get that sense that you don't have to work hard, but you have to look for the organization. And what that quality feels like, it's a very different quality, because look, now, it's just such a different thing that she has a sense that we're going somewhere. Exactly where? She doesn't know. But she feels it, 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 it moves her. Okay? Let's try it on the other side for you. Okay? 
Right? So the idea is not so much to improve anything. The idea is that you get the sense, now that you've done it, how to try to get in touch with sensing a larger organization and a larger movement. Okay? All right? So, <clears throat> so that's basically the whole thing. Now, what am I going to go? And like I said, look, I could put it down to a very small movement if I want and do things like you do on the, on the stomach and pull the pelvis and everything like that. And that would improve different parts of it. Okay? So, let's see where we're going to go. Is she going to come here first? Or is she going to come here first? I don't know. Is it me? i got to come back here. But look, immediately I can feel her back starts to be organized. Look there. But this way, I don't know. Let's come backwards and see. Up. Here. Here. Does it need to be this way? Look, I can now start to take her in different ways because I know these different movements, but I can start to feel that she can sense, look, here, if I want to organize into the shoulder, I can do there, here, and look. It, she senses, it's like when I showed in sitting to standing, it's almost like on the video, look, tuck, tuck, tick, tuck, tuck. You can go in any frame you want. It's, it's funny, but it's true, you feel it yourself. Now if I come back this way, the idea would be, how can I get her over? Here's a different side but I have to think this way. And then the idea is, look, the pushing. And then you'll find later, when we really we do a, just a push, it'll be much different. But here, you see, if I want to make a detail, look, I just take a shoulder, and then she can come much more easily here, and then you can see how much rotation it involves. And she has a fun time, because she sort of has an idea, I don't know, he knows where I'm going, but I feel she's taking me there. So it's a, it's a very unusual feeling because you think you're not doing it and she thinks she's not doing it. <laughs> and that's what you want to look for in the sensation. You see? Look, she can go wherever she likes here. Boom. It's a funny thing. Okay, and you come back and that's good enough. Bloop, 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 bloop. Hey, much nicer for your <laughs> neck. You feel? Yeah. Okay, let's just see, look, now it's a funny thing, look how she uses the hands, remember I asked the first time we did it, is there one arm that pulls more as the other, now what is this pulling in terms of a, a motion, it's not pulling, but it happens that the action starts to take place, see look, it takes place, look automatically, look at the fingers, look the whole thing takes place. It's funny, but it does. Okay? Okay, thank you. That's basically it. All right, you can lie on your back if you like for a moment and see. Certainly, if you'd want to do something to make that into a larger piece. <clears throat> and you want to do something, it's not a lesson, but what could you assume would be better improved from that? What would you think? Something like this certainly would be easier, right? Because I'll have a freer hip joint on one side and on the other side, and I have all the, the use of the back should be easier in terms of the flexors now. Okay? So that's something to easily consider, right? See, this hip joint, the back muscles, And we come back to this whole organization that we did the other day, remember? And feeling the upper chest. I would think that something would be easier with the shoulders. Yeah. So you get the whole big improvement from getting into a large, in a large movement. Will the head do something better than it did yesterday? I didn't do it, but I would assume, look, now I have a whole thing that I worked so hard with yesterday to go into the small detail, it's there already, you see? Okay, so these are things you can check if you like after, you, if you've done it, so you get a, a senses in, an, in another direction, okay? Okay, come, come have a seat.
Okay? Now, since the organization is present more, I did it yesterday, but I'm sure for all of you, you'll find that it's much easier. Look, the hip joint certainly should be more organized. And you see, now it makes more sense that I don't do something like this, right? Look. <laughs> she stops. <laughs> I mean, you feel it clearly now, yeah. very clearly now. And if I hold her neck like this, even if I stand back, she doesn't want to move her neck. But if I just touch her head like this, look, she's very soft. And then you just come and she comes right up. Your hands are covering her ears, but your fingertips are behind her ears, yeah? You know, when I take people, I don't, I, I don't hold them. They My hand, they, they yeah, they cover, but it's not, it's not that it's just, she can hear. It's, I'm, 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 yeah. I'm not closing yeah. in any kind yeah. of a way. I'm, look, if I show it on your ear, mm -hmm. it's something like this. Yeah, you yeah. see? Because I have to put So your my, fingertips are on this bone back here. No, my fingertips are just on a, look, you know. <laughs> I know everybody wants to get on to a particular place that you have to hold. I can hold it from here if I need to, but then I won't be able to come forward. So I can touch here, and if I need to, I can touch here. My, my thinking is I want to take a head and bring her forward so she comes. So I don't think that my, why I'm making a point of it is I don't think I need to put my fingertips there. I think I want to feel her head. And however I feel her head, look, if I want to, I can put my hands like this or like that or anywhere as long as I can keep them light and know that I want to bring her in a particular direction. So if I come at a certain point and I feel, ah, no, she doesn't follow me, well then maybe I'll slip my finger back here so I can feel her jaw here. Look, then she has a very different sense. Or maybe I put my thumbs here so she can really understand that the occiput is behind and this is the front and this is where her jaw is and then I move it. So I, I think the idea. So. But if you need to think, okay, my hands are here, and I don't cover her ears. Sometimes you hold the ears, but that's another question. <laughs> All right? I'm trying to get you away from thinking at the beginning you really have to figure out how to put your hands. Except in places that you really need to. And then I show you. Then I've, I've been doing that, okay? And it will drive you crazy till all of a sudden you'll see, yeah, I have an idea, and my hands follow the idea. Okay? Okay? All right. Okay, you want to try it out?